Right. All right, let's bring in now Texas Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne to join us. And it's good to have you on tonight. It's your state where this all happened. Um, how do you how do you process something like this? That's a lot of bodies in a truck and none of this had to happen. None of it had to happen. I mean, we have been talking about this for the last year and a half. We were talking about this when Biden was a candidate and, and he was, you know, it, it basically inviting everybody into the country from day one when he stopped the border wall being constructed, when he promised amnesty to people coming over illegally. He's hit records out of the park every month and not in a good way. Just this last month, we had over 240,000 illegal immigrants enter this country. The month before that was 235,000. Every month it has gotten worse since his presidency, and we have warned them, this is what's happening. You are emboldening, you are enriching, you are empowering human traffickers, sex traffickers, you have to admit you have made an error. Your policies are causing this. Admit it and stop it. I mean, where the Remain in Mexico yep. policy was working, you reversed it. You're already threatening to take away Title 42. This it is a tragedy that never had to happen. It, it, and it doesn't. And, and, and all the misery. I mean, we, we talk about it today because it, it's such a large number of people in one place found dead. But the misery that's come from this policy for the last 18 months is everywhere. But you know where it's not? It's, it's not at dinner parties in D.C. and New York and Los Angeles where high-minded liberals sit there and applaud this kind of nonsense because they don't have to see it. And that's the point. I want to show you. Here's Biden's press secretary today trying to spin this thing. Uh, she's not very good at this. This is the best she could do. Take a look. We're focused on continuing our historic actions to disrupt dangerous smuggling networks, including through a new uh, anti-smuggling campaign that just in the first two months uh, resulted in over 1,800 arrests. Uh, but the fact of the matter is the border is closed. Did you know the border was closed? You live on the border. I mean, I, I live in Dallas, but I've been down to the border and I live yeah. in a border state. We can af absolutely see it. The fact is that the border's not closed. Go down there, see for yourself. Yeah. Go, go, see the videos of people who are coming over. You know, it's amazing, though. When I turn on my TV today, you had 51 people, 51 people who died in a hot, sweltering truck. Yeah. You know what I'm watching on the news? January 6th. Of course. There's, that's all they are talking yeah. about. That's all CNN is talking about. It's all they're talking about at Capitol Hill. Where is the outrage? Where is the pouring of, of, of help to these people and, and closing the borders? Where, why are we not talking about, about what we can do to, cl to close the borders right now? Why are we not getting back to D.C. and talking about the solutions? Exactly. Instead, you've got an entire administration, an entire party that is focused on something that happened a year and a half ago. Today, 51 people found dead in a truck that was completely preventable. It's a lot of people. I mean, imagine what that looks like, 51 people in the back of a truck. Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you very much.